Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And here we are, finally. I've been patient, and here we are with the trailer. I'm so excited. I, I started this already, but I had some technical difficulties, so now it's set up perfectly, and I'm ready to go. So I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to do an intro. I've waited long enough. You guys have been so patient, so thank you so much. Let's get right into this new trailer. Oh, thank you, CinemaCon. Thank you, Tom Hardy. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Thank you for bringing us. Oh, we got the crash. This is the moment that so many have dreamed oh, and claiming. Riz Ahmed talking? History. Oh, two symbiotes this time. Starts today. History starts today. In association with Marvel. Oh, nothing separates them further. I don't want that. My friend wants that. I didn't get a baby stuff tomorrow. I told you it wanted to be a star. Oh, is Michelle Williams doing a New York accent too? I follow people that do not want to be followed. What about the allegations that you recruit hey. the most vulnerable for tests that end up killing people? I think I recognize. Wasn't that, that the lady we talked about the other day who's playing the producer? You to learn yeah, how to producer. hide in plain sight. I'm pretty good at it. But you, you suck. Jenny Slate. Whoever you are. I work at the Life Foundation, and I need your help. Oh, she's his way in? We call them symbiotes. Carlton Drake believes that the union between human and symbiote is the key to our evolution. Key to our evolution. So yeah, it's a little different than the cop. Whoa, whoa, who's that? Was that Donna Diego? Dude, he got bit, didn't he? I'm totally sick. Oh, see, look, look. I'm here for boys. What? You're not real, dude. You're just in my head. I'm going to need Mr. Drake's property back. Scott Hayes. Whoa! I don't know. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh. oh, they got drone tap. You will only hurt bad people. Whoa, who's the voice of the suit? Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! One thing you almost did. Whoa! <laughs> Who are you? We are often Whoa! Oh, dude! Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, my God! Okay. All right. That is fall. That's freaking awesome. Oh man, I'm sure a lot of people are going to complain that they didn't see a ton of venom in this entirety. Uh, but you saw a lot of symbiote in it. Like you saw the suit reacting. Who does the voice? The suit sounds like Keith David. He just has like a really dark voice. Or I don't know, maybe Tom Hardy also does the voice of the suit and they just kind of like, you know, effed with it in, uh, in post production or something. But I mean, clearly the movie's still a little while away. Uh, they still have a lot of, you know, CGI to do. They still have a lot of work to do. I'm sure they can still fix up some of the shots, and we're probably going to see more. You know, it's just, it's just peeling those layers, right? Like, hey, look, there's going to be a ton of action in this. There's going to be some horror elements in this. Um, you know, the, the Life Foundation kind of having this, like, goal of using symbiotes to further our own evolution. So that's definitely different from the comic book. So that's, we'll have, have to make a whole video on that. I mean, there's enough here, and I'm sure there's going to be more info coming out of the panel, um, you know, that I haven't researched a ton of because I was waiting for the trailer. And, I got a lot to do. I got a lot of videos to make, and I don't know what order they're going to go up in, so please be patient with me. I'm going to try to cover all of this the best I can, uh, but oh, that was so awesome. I, oh, I'm just so happy. Uh, this, the tone of this movie looks right. It looks perfect for what, you know, I thought they were going to try to do with this, and it has a, a little bit of a Cronenberg feel, a little bit more action in it, though, uh, maybe a little John Carpenter in there uh, a bit, but that scene where you saw the girl, and she's like in a, like a room that's like green and red, and she breaks out just jumps through the glass and it looks like she either bites uh, Eddie or spits on him or something and he gets infected. So we were talking about that before, how he probably isn't going to have cancer in this universe, but he's going to be infected somehow with the symbiote and then go into an MRI and, and the radio waves from the MRI are going to like piss off the suit, agitate it and make him like turn into venom and blow through the machine. So we know he's going to at least turn venom in that sequence there. We know he's going to turn venom uh, in the, the Scott Hayes sequence, which uh, is probably around the halfway point of the movie because that's when they're like 
after him. They know he's been infected. They know he went to the Life Foundation. It shows him. He looks a little bit more altruistic in this one. Uh, a lot of, I think, like, swordsmen will probably be really happy that he seems to be more like the David Michelini. It's a guy who, you know, maybe not a great guy on, on, a lot, on some levels, but he has an altruistic goal, which is get to the truth of the Life Foundation. Looks like he pisses off Reza Ahmed. He gets a one-on-one -on -one with him. He pisses him off, and Reza Ahmed's like, you think, you know, you think you're invincible? I'm going to turn your life upside down. And then maybe Jenny Slate maybe undercover working for Riz Ahmed, uh, doing this on purpose to get Eddie to go there and make it look like he was, you know, breaking and entering and then gets infected so he can't go to the police with anything. I mean, maybe that's the goal uh, to like, you know, sweep Eddie Brock under the rug and get him out of the picture. Um, and then a patient, you know, maybe all these people aren't trained soldiers like the five symbiotes. Maybe they're patients in this place. Uh, it had a very Resident Evil feel with the underground lab and like very cobalt looking walls and, you know, steel, like cold, you know, emotionless uh, environment um man oh man there's so much to process there uh we will i will rewatch this a couple times and we'll make videos on certain things in this um for sure in this trailer for sure so you guys let me know what did you think of that uh let me know down in the comments below are you excited are you more excited were you excited before did this amp you up are you still reserved are you know what, what's your feeling let me know down below thank you so much for watching this and thank everyone for you know being here on this journey with us. We're nearing episode 150, and I couldn't be more excited. We're about to start the second season, second part of our coverage. We covered all the production of this movie, everything in post-production so far, and uh, all the little things that snuck out there, all the comics, and we are just getting started. We still have like five, six months left before the movie comes out, and we got a lot more to cover. So thank you guys. Stay tuned for that. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.